Hi, I'm Jimmy. Welcome back to another on the road video with appliancevideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. Okay, today we're working on a Cabrio washer. The customer claims there's an error code, so what we're gonna do is put it in diagnostic. What you do is you take and you um, take three of your uh, buttons, not the start and not power, and then you just hit them one, two, three. You do that three times, and then you're gonna um, post your error code. In this case, it's a F5E2, which is a uh, lid lock error. So we're going to um, basically replace the lid lock on this machine. Tools needed to complete this repair was a T15 Torx, a quarter inch, and a um, pair of needle nose pliers. Okay, what we're gonna do is remove the screws from the uh, top. There's uh, three that we have to take out. They're quarter inch screws. We're gonna remove that plate. Then we're gonna remove these other two screws. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect the power before I work on it. And now with the back screws removed, I'm going to pull the thing forward. I also taped um, the lid because the lid is spring loaded and it will come at you. We're gonna take a T15 Torx bit and we're going to remove the two screws to release the latch. Okay, I'm gonna remove the harness from the clips just by pulling up. I'm gonna release the clip and leave that hanging. Okay, now I'm going to uh, route the new one. Put it in place with two T15 screws. And you want to be sure to put it back into its clips. And push it through the hole. Okay, I'm going to take my needle nose, I'm going to remove the uh, clips for your panel up on top. I like to do it this way because I don't want to scratch the uh, surface of the washer. Just clip over here. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to bring the, the whole lid assembly down. And I'm going to rotate the panel. There is a screw in the back that you have to remove. There's two screws. Okay, I'm gonna rotate the panel forward so I can have access to the uh, harness here. I'm going to let loose the harness from the old one. push that down and I'm going to take the new and it's just basically just plug just plug it in there okay we're going to put the timer panel back on basically you just there's clips you just put it in place and then push down it clips then we're going to put the uh, two panel screws back in in the back and the three screws on the hinges. And that completes a repair. 
thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.